The Center for Disease Control and Prevention confirmed that seven deaths and more than 90 cases of a rare fungal meningitis has been linked to steroid shots used to treat back pain, a steroid that was produced by the New England Compounding Center, a specialty pharmacy in Framingham that makes custom medications. It kind of seems like uh, when, it, when it comes to pharmacies and stuff like that, the government and stuff don't really regulate it. You never know. I mean, it could have been me, it could have been my kids, it could have been my wife. My girlfriend had it. She actually spent two weeks in the hospital. They told her if she would have waited any longer that she would have um, passed away. So they think it was probably she either got it in school, but her uncle did also have it. Unlike bacterial and viral meningitis, fungal meningitis is not transmitted from person to person, and only people who received the steroid injections are thought to be at risk. It is rare in healthy people and is likely to infect someone with a weak immune system. According to the CDC, about 75 clinics in 23 states received the injections. More than 17,000 vials of the steroids were shipped out before the recall. And it's still not clear how the fungus got into the medication. I had no idea there was a meningitis outbreak and it sounds like something that uh, people should be aware about and hopefully nobody else will be affected by the disease. The steroid linked to the outbreak has been recalled. Health officials say any patients who received an injection at one of the facilities beginning July 1st should see their doctor right away. In Holyoke, Raven Santana, 22 News.